Costa throughout a best of five grand final. The first grand final for Simple versus Iwu, looking to prove who is the best with a mouse and keyboard and Counter-Strike Global Offensive, a battle of individuals, a battle of a, a team unit. And we get into our pistol round, map one. Round one, Chaddy. I'm taking off my jacket. I'm getting ready. I might even take off my shoes for this one. Yeah, get into it, mate, because away we go. The GG.bet on the top of your screen there. This is a close one, hard to separate, but they will be favoring Team Vitality. And Vitality, they've actually bought into two diffuse kits on the pistol. That is not something that you normally see. Light smattering of nades behind it. Flashes, smokes to work with. And there it is, the signature P250 so in the much hands of on this CT side. Even Zywa going unarmored, but that hasn't stopped him peppering onto Boomich. My goodness. They're playing retake top. This is kind of kooky. Simple's got a P250 yard and he's got his first jewel and he's found Shocks' his head. Clean, precise, simple finding a first frag. Bombs down as well. They got two kits on the pistol round, Chad. I am perplexed. Zywa has found Simple in their first head-to-head. -head. Retaking top site. They got two smokes, one for the one-way. RPK is not throwing it. This is mad. Yeah, this is a bit of indecision early, but the flash has gone through and away they go. They're all hurt and their shots are being hit. It's Zywu first to falls. RPK's low and now even lower, six feet lower. Apex just doesn't have the time. The smoke wasn't put on towards the bomb. Hits his shot, but he hasn't got the time, hasn't got the round. It's just flamey to confirm it. Wants to make it as punishing as possible, but Apex will scarper. Maintains the kit and so... Double kit on the... I'm going to say that was a mistake that right was there. Like a little bit of an oopsie. Yeah, probably not intentional considering they were playing retake top. I'd say that was uh, not the buy that they were looking for. But that's all right. It's just the pistol. Round number one, we always talk about best of fives marathon, not a sprint. But let's see if there's any ramifications from that going forward. Another key highlight is Perfecto getting two kills on the pistol. I want to keep my eyes on him. I think he's going to be a key factor as well as the rookies. Masuda and Navira when he gets to stand on in. The two names who I want to see how they perform in a grand final like this. But we get back underway and of course... Force, Vitality, Force by in Scout for Apex. At this point, I'm surprised if you're not seeing him with that gun. RPK, Masuda with those MP9s, Deagles for Shocks and Zywu. Hard control being explored by Na'Vi and a quick rotation towards lower from Vitality. Yeah, so that. they're, they're ready to deal with that presence. Very cautious on the yard smokes. Two dropping down as soon as that information is denied. Boomish loves this position. I reckon we're one major away from calling that vent Boomich. Yeah, and it depends on how many times he gets found out here. It's been happening more and more, obviously, with so many games of Counter-Strike here. It's a bit harder to break your patterns, and teams are getting aware of what's Look going on. So much space through the squeaky door. RPK, though, finally falls. Boomich makes a bit of a meal out of that, but it's simple to have a snack. One-on-one -on -one in the head-to-head -head is simple for heads. And five versus three. With all your armor and your goodies, you might just want to have another bite of the cherry. Yeah, it might be a few rounds like this today where... Vitality trying to play this clean counter-strike, not giving too much away and always opting to go for the percentages, giving them as many cracks at converting rounds or doing damage to that T-sided economy. Every dollar matters in counter-strike. And Apex is going to see if he can get a cheeky tag or two. Looks like Simple wants to peek, only has the Deagle, will be tagged on up. Thinks better of the fight. And they'll duck on out. So holding on to everything, Boomage will cop one through the vent. They are jumping, hopping and everything away, so all good. So eight players will stay alive at the end of round number two. And Na'Vi up 2-0. I mean, to be starting off your grand final, T-side nuke, a lot of teams would consider that to be a disadvantage. And, and Na'Vi, they've run with the momentum of their smashing versus G2 yesterday. A T-side that, I mean, it left no room for us to even see their CT side. The simple's looking swagger. Little shake off of the first two rounds successfully converted in favor of Nartis Vincere. Masuta yet to get off the starting mark. And Shocks, zero ADR, yet to fire a successful connecting bullet. Round three, though, and we do see a nice eclectic mix of SMGs and rifles for the T-side as Na'Vi looked to put a third on the board. Don't forget, three saves. Same outside smokes that denied and forced two Masuta and Shocks to descend. It's That's how they're getting all of that space top site on these two top site finishes. Yeah, and we've seen them do these top hits. It was one of the key it's elements yesterday. Again. Straight in, nobody's home. Vitality playing retake again. Ooh. RPK with a chance. Boomich actually ran through one of their Molotovs there, so down to 70. That's damage from his teammates. And now as the site's taken, they're just fortifying this. Don't need to rush to get the bomb down. Make sure you're not getting pushed through any of the smokes. Make sure everyone has all the flanks covered on off because Vitality, they're going to look to lock you in. And there's another tag. Apex does a kit. They might fancy this one. Hmm. What's your way in? A flash from Zywu into the heaven position. It would likely catch Boomich, but they're set up double on CTV. Oh my lord, Electronic. 
Catching Masuta going for a very long round the world flank. Doubled up on the CT vent. You're not going to expect Flamey if you find Simple there. A flash and a go. Good one for Zaiwu. Perfecto, though, locks it down. They keep four of the five they came into this with. And so, and what I love, Chad, as well, if you're Na'Vi, you, you are smiling ear to ear. Not only are you 3-0 up, but you've done the same thing three times and it's worked. Now, when you throw those yard smokes, you can actually be behind them. Yeah, and there's some questions to ask here about how Vitality want to deal with that. On the CT side, you can do that yard control. We've been seeing a lot of teams go for pushing all for our rifle up towards the red box, taking the peak from the left-hand side. An individual playing behind your own cross smokes while you look towards that silo position and somebody traditionally tucking in just under silo. That three-pronged defense dealing with the smoke walls, but it's an all-in. If you win or lose those fights, that's the round. Interesting, a very different look. Now have made a different call, Blade. Of course, coaching. Umic calling. Suda took a lot of damage coming through main just there, so he's going to have to play safely towards these vents. Yet to frag, one of the names we will be keeping our eye on. And Navi are in no rush here. Simple actually operating with the AWP. That's not something we saw a lot. Ooh. RPK taking some serious liberties, and he's been as punished. Well. Yeah, no trade potential. Loudly stampede through Hut and is met by Perfecto. Yard pressure. Zaiwu flashed. He has no info, and Boomich has an advantage now. Shox is beneath as well. This could be a very, very fast heaven flank. Is Zaiwu prepared for this? Oh, baby. He's not holding it. He will float between the two. Timing's everything. Elevated position. Masuta, another death for him. Electronic. With the frag. They got such control now with Boomich heaven. They can finish top if they clear. Lobby and Simple has. Apex is fruitless adventures and even oh, Saiwu caught. This is absolutely clinical. I was talking to you in the car, Chad, how Na'Vi seem to have solved T-side nuke by the, it, treating it very similarly to how they have on train. Yeah, I think there's a bit of a meta shift at the moment. Oh, Shocks get another here. The bomb's still yet to go down as Simple finishes him off. Yeah, I think there's a bit of a meta shift at the moment because the smoke walls are so powerful right now. Teams have so many different variations and they're great at grabbing warehouse control, getting towards secret, and the CTs tend to have no information unless they take that fight. One of the options that we've now seen a lot of teams go for are the lobby pushes, and that's where RPK was just punished. So when you give up Yardo, you think you have your info players to isolate usually one defender towards lobby. Now they're throwing the smokes and they're parking lots of bodies in lobby for that aggression and then retaking right. yard. So I think the meta shift to summarize is that people have realized you can take lobby control back and it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Feeling like the CTs push lobby almost feels like it used to feel like a round loss. Certainly, but not when you watch Na'Vi treat it with this graceful precision. Right now, it's Vitality 0-4 down and it's just pistols again. And of course, after hitting that top site so persistently, they use their outside smokes to just glide with zero resistance into the lower site. Yeah, it's keeping Vitality guessing here. And what you do against the pistols or the low buy situations, they still have ramifications going forward because you're starting to build this pattern. You're starting to show where your intentions lie. And then when you mix it up on the gun rounds, they might not be ready for a, a fast paced attack. Shox is or having a look, direct. but this is going to be more than he bargained for. He's not got time to set himself up for anything. This is more about survival now. A bit of damage would be great. Maybe this shot hits on Flamey's first look, but it's not easy to convert that. Yeah, Flamey's not going to re-peak. I like the attempt. The nade softens him up perfectly for the spray, and that's Perfecto's bullets doing more damage. He's 6-1 and one now, playing a good game. Just keeping it clean on the anti-eco. Be nice to see Boomich's Mac 10 find frags. That's why he bought it for. Bit too detached from the pack, though. All right, well, they've mopped this one up, and the 5-0 start, it's not really filling us uh, with too much excitement for the, the beginning here of the grand final, but I it's mean, not going to take a lot can, for Vitality to come online. You can find beauty in the uh, in the grace by which these five have been found. It's very clean, isn't it? It has been. I mean, I, there has been not a single moment so far where I have felt... Oh, he even goes down to the blast. That's a nasty way to lose his armor. Well, everyone's got cash to splash. It's time to see Vitality give it another go. So in this last four-round spread, there's only been two kills uh, on the way in from Vitality, if my round timeline is doing me a favor. Don't forget the opening jewel stat, by the way. So even if Vitality suddenly started finding opening jewels against G2, it didn't even matter. It wasn't a problem for Na'Vi. Their trading was on point. They were able to do a lot with a little. And back underway, Boomich holding on to that MAC-10. An orb for shocks on the CT side. Something's changed. He's taking it ramp. It enables him to put more man, more man, or more men, 
towards this yard position. It's Apex floating main this time. Zywe as well. The molly in the spray is fantastic. Electronic trying to evade. And he has managed to get a lot of map control despite the spray, despite the nades, molotovs, everything thrown their way. They do continue to crawl. They don't have the information and haven't rotated anybody lower. Electronic taking that space right now. Oh my god, he's taking it the sound pretty cube. consistently. He's even floating and considering a molly already. One minute 20, still on the clock. Look at how much utility they have to operate here with towards lower as well. So a bucket load of nades is flaming now, causing misdirection towards that top site. Has to be careful as he is trying to just pull a fake. Can't go down for this. Needs to make sure he can control that vent rotation late Look round. They're, they're on the site already. They've got everything they need. It's they another. to save. Flawless. Plan from Na'Vi. They haven't had any resistance to get that bomb down. Finally, some... Blue on brown in the feed. Masuta finding, I believe, one of his first frags. It's going to be difficult to get back into this still. Look, the, there's a diffuse kit on Masuta, but he's already low. Boomich has got the MAC-10 for the vents. Oh, this is an important frag. Oh, and Boomich has got them both. Only the MAC-10. It's paid for itself. He does go down, but the round is on simple. He's found a frag necessary. Perfecto and electronic given the task, but I don't think Apex has got the time to do anything with this. He just wants to maintain now. Damage inflicted, ought to be retrieved on window. Will they be able to evade the blast? It looks like he's got the health to do so. So all good. Nor's well, that ends well. They get the ult for simple as well. So another clean one there. I know that three players went down for Na'Vi, nah but they took lower control. No real resistance whatsoever. Get the bomb down. Sure, Flamey dies here towards Squeaky, and that was Masuda's first kill. But all in all, Boomish is mopping things up in the vent with that. Through Simple this calling, well. through this calling alone, they are like they're manufacturing the path of least resistance. Yeah, they're just avoiding that of Vitality, getting that bomb down, and you got the fan cams. If you want to join that, iem.gg slash fan cam. Vitality taking a timeout now. I know it's very early in this best of five final, and uh, it's something that we didn't address in the pre-game, and it's something that I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I want to address too much, but it's something that could exist. It's grand final jitters. The fact that Vitality have been in four grand finals this year alone and have not been able to convert, mentally, that's going to weigh on you. Mentally, that's going to be in the back of your mind is, oh, are we chokers? Do we get to the final uh, and not get across the line? I mean, it's easy to say, no, it's not. But then you realize and you just, you know yourself, right? That's the only person you know intimately. And you know that self-doubt is prevalent no matter who you are. Precisely. Uh, so you're, you're going to start making those correlations, whether or not there's truth to them. It's true. Yeah, that could definitely be a factor. Vitality need to shake that off, though. This would be a good listen, round listen to, to do some so. some Taylor Swift. <laughs> right now, if they're able to grab themselves a kill or they're two. They're even flubbing the boost. The double kit on the pistol may really have flustered them. <laughs> but that's going to be one. Maybe I'll make a note of that. Yeah. And if we do get an interview at some point. I mean, we've got a lot of Counter-Strike to go. We are six rounds in. It's not... Oh, well, uh, remember the first round of the series? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you bought seven two rounds. kits. I think it was about like seven hours ago. Do you yeah. remember that? Oh, there we go again. Electronic with another opening. Dude, it's so, it's not even close in the fragging department. We haven't seen a, res a round of resistance yet from Vitality, and that perplexes me. Independently, individually, they should be able to find something with these. And they're giving it a go. Pushing trophy. Perfecto's been given lobby hold, and there's Masuta. A crucial frag to actually level the odds. Flamey's still yet to kill as well, and they have six rounds right now. So If RPK successfully fights and wins the lobby duel, he's been foiled by some perfecto holds in the past but with him gone rpk needs to gain some confidence here and they're actually coming back to lobby he's been thinking about it for a while oh the timing on this if he gets caught he could do damage oh but electronic is so sharp a quick reaction and suddenly lobby is lost they can go anywhere they want Ooh, i like the vent the uh flash on the little lit there Catching Rafters players a bit better. They're being very diligent about this, right? They're not just rushing into things. They're waiting for all the smoke pushes. Classic Na'Vi style clock now, 25 seconds. And the reason they're taking their time is Boomage and Electronic are still low. So those pistols, just a bullet to the torso and away they go. Boomage clears off to heaven and now they can get that plant down. Electronic, one bullet from Zyrus Deagle and it's it to their head for an extra brownie point. Giving it a go, you're right, they're low. That. Oh, could be flamey, but he does react in time. Shox has made a bit of a mess. Doesn't finish off. And now with a recovered AK, Zywoo's priorities might shift. Yeah, they're going to save these. The max loss bonus is in play, but having these held on forward is going to give them more chances on gun rounds. We'll talk about the CT side economy a lot, how it's a cruel mistress. And there was a little visual there that may be at home for the viewers. You're a little bit confused, but what that was demonstrating in main was uh, the attempt to spam through the floor on towards the top of main in that boomage position that you highlighted earlier. Uh -huh. So Vitality obviously have done their homework here. You can see there the bullet <laughs> through the floor. They know what they're up against. They know what to expect. The question is when and are you going to throw in these rounds? And that's one of the big deals when you're looking at... There you go. So you see Apex. 
giving it a bit of a crack right there. That's how he lost his health. Down to 20, and he loses his life because of it. Electronic has been a real weasel. Look at this frag. Round winning, and Shock's not perhaps finding the frag that could have turned it into a retake. Okay, motivation taking a hit with every round that passes. This is a unstoppable T side from Na'Vi. This is supposed to be a difficult half. This is supposed to be challenging. And I'm sure it will be. The thing is so crazy. Na'Vi and Nuke, that never used to go in the same sentence. And that was years ago now, but there's obviously... Here we go. Shift. That was a floor of flames towards Yard to deal with those smokes. Apex looking for Boom, Mitch, an important dink, but he still can't convert now. The flashes, now the pressure. They can start to progress Yard. Hey, she, he's already dropped off. A Yard Biff. It's so intimidating, though. You're, pe you're peeking into simple Zorp or electronic swing. Yeah, you have to play it tight. Zai was taking info elsewhere. This is a twist uh, in the tail. I like it. No longer RPK's responsibility. Gives Zaiwu the task of getting lobby. He's found the lurk. Now they can work with the info they have in front of them. It's perfecto spotted. An advantage for Apex. He needs to punish this. An important frag. Oh, no. Come on, Apex. He's lost his health. Down to one, but at least he lives. Shox adds another to the list. This could be Vitality's first. Should be Vitality's first. Of course, it's simple and electronic in this situation. 45 seconds left, a lot of space taken. There's no we'll way, though. Look Apex, at Apex though. though. He's at spawn, dude. And Shox is holding the push. Wait. Oh, no. He's actually found the gap. There's no way. He's trying to nutmeg the smoke here. He might get away with this. No way. Electronic has found Apex. Can he adjust? Shox has saved him. Should be all good in the hood now. Simple just doesn't have the time. He's even getting pushed, flanked by Secret by the Zai Wu. A beast on the Desert Eagle Orp on his back as well. So saving now his priority. He's got 13 grand, by the way. I think so. Zai always heard that scope. Maybe not. He's questioning it. Uh, a flash for the shot. He doesn't want to hunt. He's got to keep all of his pennies, all of his schmeckles. They're sending him in. They're going for this. That was a team flash. They're trying to go for the hunt. Pressure's on and Simple goes down. So he definitely did hear, hear that scoop. Zai, Zai Wu through the wall. It was a wallbang? Right. Yeah. Oh. Well, it could have been through the box, but either way, finds the kill in the final moments there. Na'Vi, the score oh. is 7-1, to one, but immediately they take a timeout. Blade on the mic. Guys, this is unacceptable. You're all getting minus 5 DKP. Jeez, uh, uh, that's very, very interesting to see. Now, I, I, I like it. Okay, so it okay. wasn't too. He pushed in for that one. He worked for it. Now, to Let's go. Th there's a lot of people in the peanut gallery there today behind Vitality, like a lot more yeah, than watch, normal. What just get to map four and that room be I would have cleared, a cleared out? Get out of there. Watch had, on the screen. They had Extaz there. They had Matt there. We yeah. obviously knew they had Nevera and Shox there for certain points. But it looks like there's a whole a bloody busy. gallery there it's right now. It's a bit busy, yeah. Go take a seat on the couch, all right? We've got a game to play. <laughs> Look at those couch analysts. Get them out of the room. Get them out of there. That's the problem. I don't anyway. want to hear your claps through my headphones. Right. All right, well, Picturing let's focus on up here. Fragging. Let's see what Navi want to adjust here. Obviously, it's going great, but you don't want to allow Vitality to start building a bank of rounds here. Stop them at one. See how many and how much punishment you can put on with this T side of Nuke. It's looking almost flawless so far. And it looks like a pace change, a bit more pressure this like, time towards Lobby. Look of this. There's also a battle in Yard. Shocks and Electronic, a bit of an aggressive CT maneuver we haven't seen yet. We'll keep track of that. A smoke from Electronic, and he's caught a full 50. Boomish normally throws that when he gets top silo control. So maybe trying to feign something here. Nah, V, as they oh. look for some ramp presence. But this is a big duel. Zywe versus Simple. Who's going to blink first? It. <sighs> Hanging in Shocks the balance. Electronic on the other side. Yeah, we've Jeez. got two duels. And he's actually flashing for it, hoping to Simple bait the shot, give them some info. He's got a nice tight line here. He's about to be tested even more so. Three gathered in lobby, bomb there too. As he holds his breath, the test, the bait shot, he's hunting for it. He wants Perfecto and he's found it now, anticipating more. And it is going to be a frag onto Zywu. Simple, adding another to his list, makes it a four versus three. Navi have overcome number disadvantages many times in their previous nuke performance in the playoffs. Two players lower here. Shox just killed Electronic Yard and then immediately hightailed it down secret. So with 35 seconds left on the clock, Na'Vi have to decide. They've got smokes for decon, one for the window or the doors if they'd like, but Shox and Masuda are ready for this. This is promising. Masuda's decon door, he can swing it open to punish the plant. Shox's contact will be the first. Util important here for Na'Vi. Doors, smoke. What do they do with windows? A smoke. There was a gap. gap. Important for Shox. Big frag, Flamey's gone, so is the bomb. They've got 14 seconds. This is where Na'Vi become their worst enemy. 
They just don't have the time, don't have the resources. Bomb does go down, he'll take that as if they need the cash. But Vitality stringing together two consecutive CT rounds. Not only was Na'Vi's timeout warranted, but they may need another. They're gonna get the ult for Zawi here, that's a big question. Yeah, they'll pick that up, Apex in charge. Three AKs carried across as well. And that's going to be very, very handy for Vitality because they need to make this competitive now. They need to be looking at five or six rounds. It's not going to be easy. And Zyra with the decision there to leave the line obviously gets punished on that repeat because impact was already felt. And that smoke with the gap at the highest level here, that's the details that are going to be taken advantage of. You will be punished in shocks. He did exactly that. Woo. And he's still good for Na'Vi now, you can see, but this time they're operating with five AK-47s. No AWP for simple. It was able to be purchased. There's enough money, but maybe they want to go for a different look here. Dude, Na'Vi have thrown four smokes from spawn. Four. They've got one left for this entire round. It's all based on these opening okay. maneuvers. Vitality have got shocks pushed up. This is the top set piece. If this gets called by the top player, shocks will be real quick. Oh, he's so fast. Already over there to punish Flamey. The last to enter the site, first to exit the round. Perfecto entries with two. Simple electronic, deadly partnership, but it's already been broken up by force. Zaiwu finds two in quick succession on the AWP, and they have rumbled it. Early aggression, the answer to Na'Vi's quick take top. Now they're alive, now they're on it. Vitality stringing some rounds together here and looking good. One more and they'll break that bank of Na'Vi. Sure, the loss bonus is starting to build for them. He pegs it after that frag. That's the thing, right? This is the this is the change up that we're seeing from some of the old guard, right? They're used to being able to multi-frag, but Shock's understanding the value of just that one kill and getting out of dodge. Someone has to cover lobby at uh, any juncture. He's already shown intent right there. So by staying alive, gets another chance and helps set his team up for a round. I was taking a gamble here. Tries to weather the nades, the mollies. He's trying to find a gap onto this lobby play. Uh, it's flamey. Big frag from Zywoo to open up proceedings here in round 11. So active as well. He's immediately moving. He's going to be coming up secret. It's two to find out there. Electronic and Boomich now on top of main. Actually, make that. Yeah, it is Boomich. That's Flamey's punished again. Shock's found him the round prior. He's been having a bit of a nightmare as of late. Oh, it's a two-man aggression. Vitality really missed. They know what up. to pre-aim. It's a big miss, though. Boomich lives to tell the tale. Such a tight line. Where did Shock's his health just go? I think she simple put a bullet into his boot. All right, well, Boomich is called where the AWP is, and they have to continue to move around. Apex is staying low as I were rotating once more. Now back up towards ramp. They're going in towards top. RPK's burning. Trying to find a safe haven. Masuta, this is crucial. Oh, and oh, Boomich has found him gap. a peanut gap. It's enough. Simple finds a close quarters frag onto Apex. It falls to a 3v3, but they're so low. What's Shock's going to do with one HP? And oh, RPK, a crucial frag takes down the star of the Na'Vi round. Simple's gone. Stopped at one frag. Shox is holding the line and was despite the HP, actually stops the hunt. It falls to Perfecto. Said Perfecto's been leading in terms of clutches here. This would be a massive one. Has to get past the orb. Oh, he pulls out his knife. And Shox has found two on a string. He had one HP for both of them. Well handled. Drops the orb to Zaiwu after finding an opening frag that they managed to punish. Convert. Four now for the CT side. Vitality. If there was a uh, visual metaphor for what we've just seen, it is just that little bleep on that life monitor. They're in flux right now, but they're actually doing a lot of impact because Na'Vi off the information. Oh, Orps here. Let's take this space. Orps there. Okay, let's move here. They just keep passing it around, moving around. Zywoo got that kill. That squeaky. Dropped all the way down. Rotated back to ramp. Gave Shox the AWP. Shox is now up the ladder with the Orp. He's finding impact and he's not scared on one. So that's some big stuff there from the start. There's no doubt that Shox and RPK, two of the Ooh. best to ever do it in Source. He's usually very expressive, but he's got a stone face today. This boys have had to work hard, work very hard to get back towards the top. Well, they just managed to turn this half into an actual grand final half. Yeah, it's looking respectable now. So the seven on the trop for Na'Vi, maybe Vitality were like, yeah, we'll give they them finally, a head start. They we'll finally head exhausted start. their funds. The coffers were so full. Don't forget, Simple was dead after time with 13 grand, grand in the bank. I mean, it was... Uh, it was a long road for Vitality to put them on this kind of buy. Let's see if they can convert it. Na'Vi specialists of making a lot out of a little. Outside smokes previously the root of a lot of their success. There is no early yard info, no ramp pushes. They're trying a different flavor. Apex will go secret to announce and to address the potential of yard. Very deep smoke. smoke. He holds the gap. Yeah, Perfecto <laughs> might be expecting a push with how deep that smoke is, but looks like Vitality is slowing down the pace here, and so are Na'Vi. There's no direct intent. There's no argy-bargy across the map, so Molly's towards top. 
I think this is a bit of a fake. No commitment on this. You want to hit ramp. Flash into Shox's face. Oh, it's such a good flash, but they're not going. Oh, he's got vision. More utility confirms his suspicion. Simple. Opens up. Zywu burns significantly, trying to escape. Flubs the ladder. They're going lower. Flooding down the ramp into Apex. What have you got for us? Big push. Dan Maddis Claire. One. Big frag from RPK. Still keeping it level. Navi make this round hurt. RPK's timing's good, but the shots from Electronic are better. And now Zywu paying a heavy price with a peak on ramp. Has only got 28 HP. May want to call it quits. Not the round for him. Jeez. Heading T spawn. That was all over the shop there for a second. Frags instantaneously across the map when that went all the pressure towards ramp. They were uh, a little bit unfortunate. They didn't go on their first flash on shocks. He was completely white screened. Overwhelming all the same. Uh, Electronic, he was the one stopping that rotation. Navi didn't actually have any grenades to deal with that lower sight take. It's just the two flashes that you see on Electronic. So as they were coming down ramp, they didn't have smokes to crowd control that decon. They didn't have Molotovs to throw into the stairwell on the window side. So it was just the bodies they were putting on their line. If Electronic didn't deal with that rotation, it would have got a much more difficult for Na'Vi there. But now it's the eighth. They've won the T-half here on Nuke. It's a great way to kick off their own map pick. And anything from this point onward is just icing on top of the cake. Oh, yeah, for sure. Na'Vi have had their cake and they are eating it live in front of a very high anticipation audience. Look how driven they are. Okay, so eight to four. Last few rounds of our first half here on Nuke. Damage control for Vitality, a 1T half. Double Ops now, that's the response from Vitality here. Shox has picked one up as well. Yeah, he's going light on Utility, he wants to manage... They're both ramp right now with the Orbs. Take a fight, you're right. Zyru's going hunting into this line, that could punish. Boomich, does he get away? He does, dips out on the repeat. Perfecto thinks better of it. Vitality to need to convert this opening frag. RPK baits them in. Simple's confirmed there's one close though, and that's Masuta's cue to dip. All right, well, they tried to punish Zywu's position with the AWP again. Once again, he's rotated elsewhere, so this is going to be too little too late from Na'Vi. Electronic has a lot of work to do here. Shock's pushed up secret. He's taken space as well, so information good for Vitality, but maybe there's a gap. It's a bit of a gap into main. Smoke will fade. Powerful position now for Electronic. Is Masuta able? He's been having a quiet first half, and as the smoke fades, Masuta has been spotted again. RPK needs to multi-frag. He's got Zywu, but oh, not anymore. No. Drops into the site, he lives. RPK does well to find one, enables Zywu to find another. Now simple. One on three. Charging through the vents, the bomb in his grasp. He's gonna be stopped by ramp. Apex, should he get there in time? He does. Oh, he th second guesses the peak, gives simple a chance. The bomb is down, the doors are closed, and now simple can work his magic. Oh, he's low. And he's already waving the wand, he's taken down Apex. All the bluff. Opens the door, executes another, Zywu's gone. Simple, what are you up to? Some mischief here in the lower site. He's already on for a 4K. Shocks as a kit. He's faked it again. Simple calls the bluff with the doors. Opens it up and executes masterful stuff. Steals the ninth from under their nose. Some daylight robbery as Na'Vi post nine. Punishment now from Na'Vi. Simple picking up one of those early. That's gonna do wonders for his confidence. Absolutely massive seeds there. Bean. Just a one on three when the double orbs came out to play. We talk about how difficult it is to retake with him. They didn't even get a chance to take a Apex shot. Apex is going to be slamming his desk. He didn't fully check on that. It was like nine seconds. I think he was trying to throw a nade or something, but that commitment, if he was all the way in, you know, he takes a duel with simple, maybe delays enough time, tried to play the percentages, wanting to play that one on three as a team. And look at that look. I don't know who's in the room, but. <laughs> Woo! There's the frustration we're used to seeing That's, on the face of Shox. Yeah, that was that was the uh, the uh, perfect juxtaposition to the face we saw previously upon round conversion. That's only made possible by Electronic. Now remember, that was a number disadvantage in the early stages. So I would push ramp True. and killed Boomage, and There's they still one. operate with those number disadvantages and make it work. So Electronic has been absolutely instrumental in how Navi are bound to operate on this map, dealing with rotations, cutting off rotations, getting into positions when Vitality aren't ready for it, and they've been forced to buy again. Famous's P250, they're the emissions for Masuda and RPK right now, but Vitality is staring down the bottom and barrel of an 11-4 half. Yeah, the top side's been so tough for Masuda and RPK. Like, if you watch this from their POV, they've had a nightmare. Really have. Na'Vi have made that top side hold so tenuous.
Shock's taking a couple of gambles. The Trace of Fire, you can see he's just using a couple of bursts. Doesn't want to be enough on the full commit to isolate and solve this. Tronic once again up to his usual antics. Very powerful player to send yard and punish any gaps that may present themselves. Smoke for main. Trying to give them that impression that you might want to have a glance towards Yard, and with that utility, he prepares to swing and check. There's four players Secret looking at this P. position. Yeah, he's definitely managed to pull. Playing retake top right now. Attention. And this is the frag he's waiting for. The control's good at... I was about to say good enough. It's perfect though, it's Zywoo gone. And they've got ramp, Shox has fallen out. Apex, a crucial frag, stops the Yard prong. Dropping though, gets one in the off angle. Simple, so quick to trade. Does. Good grief, he was practically still in the air. Again, low side plan. Navi an advantage that they plan to punish. RPK checks the wrong corner. Simple. Jiggled out. Apex another big frag. Can he contribute any more? They don't have a kit here. Actually, Masuta, I tell a lie, has one. Flamey's in the vents. Vitality need to post a couple more. Some damage control rounds to make a second half out of it. Great shot from Perfecto. The angle very punishing. And now Apex doesn't even get a look in. Great shots from Flamey to confirm. 10. T rounds on Nuke to start this final off. Na'Vi, a statement of intent. Hittances for Vitality here in the last round of play for the first half as well. Roughly two and a half for the majority of the members of Vitality. It's just Apex offering up a little bit more, 3.7k for him. But all in all, that's not enough to muster a competitive buy. And Vitality were actually trying to play a retake top set up there. Those yard smokes, it drew four of them. Zywa was looking up secret. Masuda was buying CT boxes. Apex was in transition there as well, and RPK was moving over to see if he could get in striking distance with that P250. But here it is, MP9s, 1M4 at Deagle. That's all they're working with right now. Navi are looking great for this 11-4 half. Aren't they? Perfecto. With his lobby denial coming from the T roof. And Simple swings in from right. lobby. That's the lobby control that Navi need. They come late and take it back by force. Powerful stuff. Apex tucked in very passive. And look at Boomic slipping the net. He will be a threat now. They can hit finish top site. I told you RPK and Masuta have had such a nightmare. How's he timed it past Apex? He's I've been tucked no in towards idea. the back of warehouse this whole time. So Boomic, smokes. Boomic is really going to punish them here. If he clears out towards ramp, that's a free avenue straight towards that lower site. And then it's just Zywoo. Well, oh, just Zywoo. Uh, look how thorough he is being. Zywoo's actually thought about it and finds him. Oh, lordy. That turns it around on its shocks. head. I don't think that expects shocks this close then. Yeah, how willing are you to punish? It's 50 seconds. He's got a timing window. Not hearing a peep, though. If Simple drops that smoke heaven, that'll be the cue for Shocks to start twisting and tightening the noose. Bomb plant will work the same way. The smoke in Simple's hands goes main this time. Two on three. They planted heaven side. There's no kit. Yeah, they need a frag soon, and you can see Shocks hoping they walk into hurt for the after plan, but it's such a question mark for them. Apex draws attention his way. Zai was advancing from heaven. Shocks starts his steps too. This flash is gonna be crucial. Electronic stares at it. A simple low on the CT vent. Can't clutch up this time. It's a triple kill from Zaiwu. And a compulsory fifth. Pulls vitality across the line. They put a band-aid on a absolute gushing wound, but 10 to five. Nuke looking good for Na'Vi as they prepare to defend their map pick.
making mistakes. All right, you're on tray. It is our first map of our IEM Beijing Grand Final. A best of five, a marathon, not a sprint, certainly. Well, Na'Vi did sprint from the starting mark. As soon as that gun sounded, so did theirs. Ten to five, quite the half. Double digits found, and that was on the T side. Yes, there's been a conversation about Nuke shifting in more favor of the T side, but a 10-5, that's Na'Vi making this room a little hotter. You see the Vitality roster. It is action-packed and people-packed, but now... Vitality shifting in the odds, and now they have to prove to themselves as well as us. They have still got a voice here on Nuke. Chad Birchall's joining me. You know him as Sponge. Rushley on the numbers. For all of your observing delights. Flamey had a rough first half, and he's about to get tested. Ooh, love that. First click of his USP, and he's passed that test with flying colors. They pause in ramp. Descending into Electronics USP. Is he as spicy as Flamey? He's been looking great so far. Is that precision carried over to the USP? Overwhelmed, tucks in. Now the repeat. Not clearing Flamey. Great. <gasps> and so are the shots. He's found another. It's all CT frags. He does tuck in for the reload, but it's only going to be RPK and Shocks. Vitality just getting pulled apart. Four wild horses remain to continue to gallop in opposite directions. Bombs loose on the site. Oh, Shocks is even catching nades. Working with a fraction of health, he'd need two pristine taps to even start the conversation of a successful pistol round now. Na'Vi is not giving them anything, Chad. Isn't this a different team? Yeah, not taking any unnecessary fights and then striking. That's third for Flamey in this round. Make it four. Flamey comes alive in the second half. And it's just the pistol round. He finished the first half with only two kills and six assists. So doing a bit of damage, but not converting those frags. He's had enough of that. He wants to have his say in this one. And that's some clinical stuff here from Flamey. If his aim is on point, Vitality might need to run and hide. The third staff showing up at the party for Na'Vi. Always good to see. Scoreline 11 to 5 now. As the force buy from Vitality comes out, it's going to be a smattering of pistols. Three Tech 9s, two P250s, and a truckload of utility. Smokes towards Yard. For Secret, is going to follow as well. And early extinguished there. So Na'Vi already dealing with these Yard smokes. A huge gap. Oh. And that was a forced error. Top site is being set up for right now as Boomish just drops that smoke towards Squeaky. This might stifle their plans for a moment or two. Molly's good. Okay, the nade is even better though, and so is the position. It's practically perfect for 
Perfecto. It's over already. He's actually found three. Lovely injection of 1800 into his bank balance and a 12 posted for Na'Vi. And the fact that Vitality just pushed all their schmackles into the center of the yep. table does not bode well. It'll be a 13th now for Na'Vi here. It will most likely just be a couple of light pistol upgrades for Vitality. And you're seeing just that Apex into a P250. I'm sure Shocks might want a Deagle or something just as delectable here on the menu. No, just going to... There we go. Of course he would. He had 3.1. I thought he was going to... Uh, let me down there, but as they leave spawn, gets a Deagle Masuda into P250. Zyro and RPK just with the Glocks. So keeping this one clean is the name of the game for Na'Vi. Even better if your SMGs are Flamey and Boomage can find a couple and they're heading over towards ramp. Really wanting to test Flamey early here. He gets another four kills. I think he might shut down any intent of heading back towards ramp. And there might not be enough rounds to make that work anyway as Vitality are really struggling here. First gun round is going to hold a lot of weight. Simple's about to have a field day. It's his first and ramp for Flamey. He will be tested with his MP9 though. Should be the perfect weapon for the job. He doesn't look too interested. He's very passive. Come on, boys. And he gets Ooh. the jewel. He was hoping for. Masuta's has actually wanted out. Damage inflicted. Maybe. Oh dear. They actually step into one another. A lovely little lineup. He'll grab himself a deagle upgrade for the trouble. Quick 4K for Simple against the Eco. So yeah, this first buy really is going to be the uh, the determining factor of how much resistance Vitality can post here. Yeah, if they don't pick this one up and they don't get the bomb down, well, they'll only be operating with that 3,400 loss bonus. And you can see here they've invested almost all of their pennies. It's just Masuda and Shocks with residual cash to talk about. Apex, Zywu and RPK not working with too much as we get back underway here. We'll have to deal with the simple AWP. He's upgraded, ready and raring to go. Zywu has got his big green as well. Very deep smoke towards Yard here. Maybe a boost. Oh, we spotted him. So it was simple, head to head. It's a right eye. This is a difficult pick for Zawu here. Simple passes the test, puts a bullet into the star, and Flamey holds down Mouse One, puts it into two brains. Prefire's not good enough. Shox has actually found electronic. This gets intense now. Simple's doubled up. Yard falls, only Apex, 1v3, not a lot. A space for him to work with, but bomb on his back in a smoke certainly does seem like he's going to give it a good go. Has to. Simple's holding the line though, and he doesn't even get a chance. That's just the two of them, Flamey with the double, but it's Simple holding down Yard, even stealing Zywu's AWP for good measure. 26 for Simple already. This is not the way you want to see the series going and the way that the Superstar is signing things off if you're a Team Vitality oh, with fan. With this a 1v3 clutch and a 30 bomb, Chad, that is Simple with a point to prove. Yeah, but the thing is, Simple coming into Grand Final with that form is another thing. They need Zywu to come online in similar fashion, and so far he's leading the charge for his squad. And this is only map number one, 14 kills to his name. Well, we've got a simple moment. Let's see if we can get a Zywu one. There might only be two more rounds of players. They forced in here. Galil's AK is very light on utility, but enough to make the L block smokes work. Apex trying to punish with this. Hmm. That smoke's got Apex scratching his head. It forces him a little bit wider. Ooh, and it means they bounce straight into the nade. Oh, two of them to be specific. And now Flamey caught off, but Masuta just staring at the wall. He was in the naughty corner. Dunce hat on. Electronics got another, finds the head of Apex. He's winning that duel every single time. Shock's battling now against Simple, but he's too oh. quick. He's too good. Gets away from Zywu's spray. Who Laura already? Yeah. Boomich and Perfecto are in. Zywu's gone. Another frag. He wasn't ready for that. Perfecto has been caught by RPK. If he could just find Boomich, if he could just find one isolated duel, he can hear the vents. He knows he's on a timer. We'll get the bomb down. Simple's low. RPK, are you made for this? He's got a perfect Molotov. And that gives him a chance. It. Yeah, they do. Peeks over it. Ooh, Simple's missed his shot. Maybe a new lease of life for RPK. Trying to inject some life into Vitality now. It's too much. He's overwhelmed, and it's 15 now for the Nartus Vincere roster. Looking very good here, Na'Vi. They plugged all those holes, and I love that to do with the L-Block smoke wall, just limping out one of their own smokes, forcing Apex a little bit wider. There's a couple of reasons they might want to do that. The nades, that was an interesting way to go about it. <laughs> it seems so, like watch, watching... Well, every time we've been in iron eyes with Vitality, it just seems like Na'Vi have got something solved. Yeah, Nuke is looking very good for them. And like I said, Na'Vi and Nuke never used to go in the same sentence. And it's very strange to see them operating at such a high capacity here. In fact, that we've got Electronic with 16 kills. Perfecto is the name that we really need to be talking about. 17 for him. So complimenting 
Simple very well here today are some of the supporting cast. The AKs will be facilitated by that RPK plant, but this is Vitality's last chance to say anything. I know, I know this doesn't hold much weight, but I'd be so interested to see how this Na'Vi T-side nuke intersects with a prepared and an inform Astralis CT-side nuke. Imagine how good that could be. I was caught some flack on the spray, just softening up the star to make his life even more difficult. Yeah, if it wasn't hard enough, staring down the barrel of a 15 5, 16 5 loss, mind you. Now he's operating at half HP, and he's the man with the lion's share of utility. So if he goes down without throwing that, not ideal. They've snuck across. Boomich is going to call that. Knows the timings. Will make his way up onto the railing. So they forced him out of position, at least as far as information goes, but Zywu has to peek back into this yard hold. A minute left on the clock, deep smoke towards the windows, continuing to force Na'Vi around the map, but perfect on electronic. They don't look like they'll be moving anytime soon. It's loud. Electronic is receiving a lot of information with his eardrums here, and so much so they can get a nade right to finish off Zywu before he even gets to pull the trigger. Perfect toe continues to impress. Oh, add another one, why not? Quad kill. First nail in the coffin. 